I've done my whole thing. I, I, I skipped, I've done everything, but here, I'm nobody. They served their country with honor, but now these local veterans can't even find jobs to make ends meet. You're watching News 12 Westchester, serving Westchester in the Hudson Valley. U.S. soldiers risk their lives to defend their country every day, but is the nation prepared to pay them back when they come home from war? Right now, nearly one quarter of all young veterans do not have steady work. But News 12's John Goff reports there's a new push to find them quality jobs. Many young veterans are trying to avoid being one of the grim statistics of the current economy. Nationwide, unemployment hovers near 10%. But members of the military who have served in Iraq and Afghanistan are having trouble finding jobs. Unemployment among them is over 20 percent. We have to do better. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand has just been named to the Senate's Armed Services Committee. She's holding a series of roundtable meetings like this one at Mercy College in Dobbs Ferry aimed at advancing her proposals to help vets find jobs. One of them is a $2,400 tax credit when an employer hires a veteran. Someone's not going to create a job because they have a $2,400 tax credit, but if they are going to hire someone, it gives them an incentive to hire a young vet. But George Knight, a vet who's studying at Mercy, complained without the structure found in the military, it's hard for him to navigate the system on his own. Well, I got kids. I'm doing this school thing. It's hard. They don't tell me what to do. I just got to do it myself, which is good. It, it helps me be a better person. But then I got to even take care of my family. Even though the unemployment rate for young vets is so high, it's not necessarily just because of the sluggish job market. In some cases, those vets, the ones between 18 and 29, only have high school diplomas. And for some, that is a handicap. We're at 10 percent unemployment, but if you look closer at it, uh, this, the people with, job, with, with college degrees, it drops all the way down to 4.9 percent. But while there are programs to help vets with their education, some complain the red tape is occasionally too much, and they give up. And in addition to tax breaks for hiring them, vets told Gillibrand making it easier for them to make the transition to the civilian job market would also help. In Dobbs Ferry, John Goff, News 12. We're told the input gathered at these roundtable discussions will help shape the Veterans Employment Act. That's a bill expected to be introduced later this year in Washington.